You are a product of all who came before you, the good and the bad. I am uh, an Asian American kid originally from the Bay. So the first thing I got to do is say thank you for this movie because it hit home more than I can express. It literally felt like it reinvigorated the MCU for me. So thank you for doing that. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, thanks for saying. Something that I really enjoyed uh, throughout, you know, all of the the initial press was, was just all the conversation that we were having about diversity. And Simu said something really beautiful about um, the authenticity of this movie feeling the way that it did because of the diversity of your production team. Um, my question to you is, what was important to you when it came to staffing, and what's going to be important in your hopes for staffing for the sequel? I, I grew up in Hawaii, so so diversity is the norm. Um, the intermixing of cultures and ideas um, to me is is the most uh, enriching way to to live. <laughs> and and when it comes to creating a, a, a film set, um, it's it's uh, the most enriching way to, uh, to to be creative and particularly with a story like this, it was really important to surround ourselves with, uh, with obviously people who are, who understand the culture of the characters that we have um, and, and understand the, the intricacies of those cultures of the, of, of growing up as a, as a Chinese American living in the Bay area um, of, of growing up in mainland China versus Hong Kong. And, and also understanding how vast China is and how many different cultures there are just within that one country. So we were really, I think, privileged to have so many different people from all over the, the world working on this movie who could personally uh, relate to each of these characters and the specificity behind the, those characters. And for, for me, that was one of the, the biggest parts of this production was having all of these voices um, on set to say that food is not what he would have on the table. That music is not correct. That um, I, if Wen Wu is really from from this area, he wouldn't have that on the wall. So the, having having those types of conversations was really important to to this process. You know, Tony Leung is a legend. Michelle Yeoh is a legend. If you can work with another legendary. Hong Kong actor, Asian actor to bring into this world. Is there anyone that you have in mind? Any kind of like fan casts of your own that you have in your head? I mean, if we could ever get Jackie <laughs> into a movie, that would be a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> that would be absolutely incredible. We'll put it out into the universe. Yeah, let's put you it know, out. There. Let's put it out there. In the assembled uh, documentary on Shang-Chi, you had mentioned that if this film was where this story stops that you have failed and now you have the announcement of the sequel and an ever expanding you know deal here that can open up new worlds my question to you is how do you how are you feeling now about the successes of this film i mean i i feel very hopeful um i i i feel like it is a very exciting time to be a a director period but to be a a, a director of color um, right now is it's it's exciting it's not perfect we've got a ton of <laughs> a ton of work to do um, but i do feel like the the temperature in hollywood um is is going in a direction where people un understand at the top they understand that if if we don't start telling stories that represent the world around us in all of its colors and differences that I, this industry will become irrelevant and so no seeing that that more and more people are waking up to that reality is is pretty exciting absolutely there was there's no way to really describe being in a uh, theater full of Asian people 
openly weeping. I feel like I was openly weeping through many viewings of this in the theater. And, uh, you know, those themes really hit home for me. And, you know, I'm not a Chinese American, but there was so much that I could connect to on my in my own life. So amazing, uh, amazing storytelling, in my opinion. Thank you, Laura. Nice one, Helen. What was the be- like most surprising piece of feedback or or experience that you got from a fan that you were like, wow, we really did something here? There was one one moment in one of our later test screenings um, we where we filmed or we we screened the movie for a primarily all white audience in Florida, and afterwards there was a talk back. We had no idea how this would connect with some with people who had no idea about this culture, who weren't used to seeing all Asian faces in one movie, who aren't used to reading subtitles. Um, and there was one young man, he was probably in his mid 30s. Um, he was tattooed up. He was a pretty hard looking dude. Um, he was ex-military and he was talking about the character shang chi and how much he related to him and how much he related to his his personal journey his relationship to his father and specifically how powerful it was for him and he actually got emotional when he was talking about how powerful it was for him to see a man who was clearly masculine clearly strong um but was was learning to deal with his emotions, who was learning to be vulnerable and open. And to have somebody completely from a from a completely different part of the world, a very different cultural upbringing, connect to Shang-Chi on that level, it was so it was surprising, but it was also um, the hope that we all had for for this character and, and this world that that it's not only for for our community, but it's it's also to to show people not from our community that we all have so many things in common, um, and that that's one of the the big hopes that I I hope people connect to on this movie. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, y'all made Shang Chi a household name, which as a comic fan is is mind blowing to me, right? Uh, and so well deserved. And now. Congratulations, a sequel is coming. An MCU uh, Disney Plus series is in the works. Uh, I know you can't talk about story or anything. Things are probably very early, but um, if there's an Agents of Atlas or a Zha Ling into Ten Rings or maybe a Morris standalone animated movie, I would like to, to know what's like your bias. What would you hope to tell? What stories do you want to tell in this world? I mean, that's a tricky question because my hope could be a reality (laughs) it's hard for me to answer um but i do love all of those ideas i will say (laughs) cool cool i mean if you need a an agent of atlas i'm uh i'm I'm around okay i'll keep that in mind shang 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 s-h-a-n-g shang now i want to talk about gold house and kind of gold opens we give uh, an incredible spotlight of what our community is capable of in terms of support uh, as a filmmaker what does it mean to you to have such a force like that behind you backing your vision and cheering on your win it's pretty incredible and and historic what gold house has been doing um and it, i i do think it's it's the first time in in history that uh Asian Americans have have been um, united in this way, um, and it, I mean it, it. It makes sense why it's been difficult because it is such a vast array of cultures that are under the umbrella of, of this term Asian American. Um, but what what I love is going to these events and seeing. Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, all mixing together. And yes, seeing that we do not come from different cultures, we actually do look differently. Um, and we, but we also have all of so many similarities. Um, and that's, that's kind of the, the heart of the Asian American experience is what we wanted to capture in our movie. We wanted to capture the, 
the heart of the family dynamics of the respect for our elders, the respect for legacy and history, um, but but also explore the the real. Uh, Asian experience of learning how to simultaneously respect your parents and and what came before you, but but learn how to move forward in a way that that is also respectful to yourself. Um, and those are the themes that that we really connected to. And uh, I I feel so excited to have a community that Gold House has has put together to to champion movies like this. I love that. Um, now. I know that you had said previously that you wanted to make a superhero film for your son to look up to, and you actually welcomed another child during the production of this movie. Congratulations on your growing Thank family. You. <laughs> what are you most What are you most excited about Shang Chi to share with with your your um, your kids once the time comes to show them this film? I think there's something really powerful, not only about seeing seeing um, characters who are up on a big screen like this, who are in a big movie, um, and characters who look like you, who have a similar um, cultural background as you. Um, but on top of that, to have a character like Shang-Chi, who is not only uh, a, a superhero because he is a good fighter or good, but or good at very pow- being very powerful. Um, but he's he's also a superhero because he is learning how to be vulnerable, and he's he's learning um, how to deal with the pain in his life. And that those are the the things that I hope my my son when he's old enough to watch this pg-13 movie will will be able to to take those themes uh and apply them to his journey must be kind of a surreal feeling to to know that people all over the world now can take home your movie and 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 watch it whenever they want i'm wondering since we're you know we're promoting this the home entertainment release is there any special feature that you're most excited for the world to see I love special features on DVDs because I um, I grew up, you know, I was when DVDs were first coming out. That was when I was just getting into filmmaking. So being able to get a, a sneak peek into the process and how things are made was just I, I would eat it up. Um, and I I just on on these DV, these extra features you'll you'll get to see the actors interacting in a in a way that you don't see in quite so much in the movie because you see them out of character how the the rapport that we had and that's the experience that i have when i watch the movies remembering how how much fun it was to shoot this scene even the serious scenes like i'm like i remember when when something crazy happened and everybody broke out in laughter and and you get to see a glimpse of that in in the extra features Absolutely. I love the gag reel. It's so, it just brings me so much joy to see everyone smiling and dancing. Everyone's dancing, which is all. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Including including Michelle Yeoh, who, like, I think most people just assume she's always this stoic, elegant queen, but she is such a silly, fun person on set. I love to hear that because Michelle Yeoh is, like, you know, uh, an Asian icon, uh, one of my bucket list goals in life is to find her an excuse to have a meal with her one day so i oh. love hearing stuff like that yeah that would be a great meal thank you for everything from short term 12 to now shang chi you are just an incredible storyteller and it's an honor to sit down with you man thanks a lot